And at the end, apart from everything I uh, we just mentioned uh, in terms of fuel and some savings, obviously, uh, we have increased our safety, which is the most important part of all. So mainly it is just the GPS location in our fleet, uh, driving behavior as well, solutions, and fuel, fuel monitoring, which uh, basically that's what we were looking for. So currently in Urbaser Nordics, uh, we have a, a fleet of 1,200 units. So mainly it's a refuse compactor vehicles. We also have some hook lifters, crane vehicles, and mainly it's just uh, heavy trucks that they are dedicated for the waste collection, for waste collection purposes. Actually, actually the first, the, the first challenge that we wanted to, 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 to answer, as you said, it was the fuel control. As you know, during the last year, last two years, the prices of the fuel has increased a lot. In some cases, it has doubled the price that uh, we used to that we used to to get. So it was like a key for us. To obviously, we need to keep on running our trucks, so we need to keep on using the fuel. But uh, we needed some tool to have a better monitoring and better understanding on what our vehicles does. So when we first look at Mapong, we saw that uh, there is a fuel module inside of the, of the actual uh, software that uh, Mapong offers. And it was actually matching perfectly what we were looking for. Well, it, it's, it was a tricky one because uh, as you know, uh, the drivers, they prefer just to do their job every morning and not to be monitored. But if you have a different approach and you work with the tool and you work with them on a daily basis, I think that mentality has already changed. Um, and it was a challenge at the beginning, but now it became a routine. Because now what we do is like, uh, as, as we have also Mapong Go, which is the app that uh, Mapong is providing as well, uh, we are constantly uh, monitoring all their performance and we are constantly also talking to them on weekly and daily basis to see what's uh, their performance, what they need to, to do better, what do they need to do to keep doing good. So, so yeah, the, the driving uh, monitoring or driving behavior, uh, at the beginning it was tough because it was difficult to, to implement and difficult to, to try to change the mentality of the driver. But now once you sit with them and you understand and with the tool, you can actually uh, show them the points that they are uh, weaker and the, and the points that they are strong in their driving skills. So right now I think it's became a routine and they are actually, we are proud as a, as a company and we are also proud for our drivers that they are trying to do uh, better performances and trying to be a better drivers every day. I'll say that the driver, that the driving culture has improved a lot. And at the end, apart from everything I uh, we just mentioned uh, in terms of fuel and some savings, obviously, uh, we have increased our safety, which is the most important part of all. And by looking at how the drivers uh, operate with the truck, the use of the pedals and so on, uh, we have reduced as well the number of uh, accidents and the near misses as well. So at the moment, uh, I think the approach is very positive. And, and everybody, as, as I mentioned, they are trying to perform better and trying to be better drivers. And we try to reduce the incidents and be the most safe company for, for everybody. Well, I feel that this working perfectly. Um, at the beginning, we were a bit uh, skeptical because there weren't like a physical place in Sweden, in this case, 
where we, if we had an issue that we should go there and mm -hmm. complain or, or just have a, a, a chat or an interview. So, but uh, then after, after a few weeks and, and, and working with uh, our contact person, Kai, in, in the Nordic area, uh, it uh, worked very good, very good indeed. And, and something that uh, we appreciated, and I think it was the game changer for us to, to go for, for Mapon, it was the flexibility. I mean, uh, we are a waste management company and we needed some specific things to be implemented in the, in the platform and software-wise. Uh, so uh, they always uh, accept or understand or try to understand our challenges and they, are, they were flexible and they are flexible enough to try to accommodate all our needs in an actual software or an actual web platform. I would be like 100% uh, positive to tell other companies to use Mapong. And we haven't chosen Mapong out of the blue. And I think that uh, you have some fleet management solutions. There is a lot of fleet management solutions in the market, but something that Mapong can provide that others uh, don't is, as I said, flexibility. And then it's a very easy platform to use. And I think you get everything you get from other platforms or even more, but on a more simpler way which actually on the day, using the, the, the tool every day, it helps a lot. It really helps to have something very visual and easy to work with. <laughs>